Who are you? Who am I? Um, a human, uh, I'm an artist, um, God-fearing black man, Joseph Isaiah Keys. That's a strong name. Where'd you get it from? Uh, moms, pops, uh, pops wanted me, wanted to name me something else. Uh, some other interesting name, but my mom was, she's Baptist. Mm -hmm. I'm Christian, so she wanted to give me this name. At first, I didn't really actually like the name. Like, for a long time when I was younger, I didn't actually like my name, my full name. I thought it was weird. But after a while, like, so, hmm, this is kind of like a powerful mm -hmm. name, you know? Okay. Yeah. Because I'm named after my dad, and everybody tells me that my name is, is, is cool, it sounds strong. Yeah. <laughs> it don't resonate with me. Yeah, yeah. I'm also named after my father. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, where are you from? Washington, D.C. Uh, I've been here for a long time, ever since I was a uh, baby. I'm in uh, College Park now, Merlin. Yeah. And growing up in D.C., do you feel like that influenced your art a lot? Influenced it, yeah. Influenced, I guess, uh, my person, uh, like the way I move. Um, I don't know if it influenced it, but it definitely like created, like the environment created, uh, you know, uh, different parts of me, different perspectives of me. Where'd you say you drew your influences from? Uh, well, for Inside Out, um, I was very uh, reserved and quiet mm -hmm. and almost mute in, in instances uh, like when I was younger. Um, so I had to like uh, like build like a, a home inside me. So, and then like inside out, like outside I, you know, I, I kind of like uh, found ways to, uh, or, or help build that home, like uh, different like books and like uh, plants, uh, different things that just like, uh, help the foundation inside to manifest out. So, as far as artists and inspiration, like life, <laughs> like life. That's real, man. That's real. Yeah. So, I guess laying the ground for that foundation. Um, how are you expressing it now? Hmm. Um. I just came from church and going back uh, to church is an interesting thing because uh, it always like teaches like, uh, you know, faith and uh, uh, prayer and just all these like spiritual, religious uh, aspects. Um, and that's like what how I started and how, where I want to move to 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 have that um, that feeling that uh, hope that uh, um, that spirit within my art. Do you mm -hmm. feel like there's anything that you're adding to it now, even mm -hmm. still building? Still building. Um, still building. Still learning. Um, still adding. Still uh, subtracting mm -hmm. from from the this place, um, just r being uh, comfortable from a starting point in, in this in this in this life society. Uh, there's a lot in society that's just like even like what's happening now, like around the world, like the sickening <laughs> of people. Um, to, to come from that and to see that you have to have like this like like this peace that you need to speak from uh, or you should speak from I don't know but uh, yeah. yeah you speak of you come from a religious background yeah thank God um, I, I come from a background also mm -hmm. in the same sense do you feel like piece that you were just talking about do you feel like that you've grown in that piece by getting or connecting more to God and getting closer to him um 
Yes. Um, it, it was at one point, several points in my life where I had to uh, focus on um, overcoming like depression and like darkness in my life. Um, just from like a physical uh, ailment in my body when I was younger. And you know, that, that, that uh, kind of like uh, depressed me. Um, and uh, I had to find ways to like, uh, even think about it now is like crazy because I think for one, I had to sit still a lot of the times and like really just go deep inside myself to like feel okay. Um, over the years, like my body would heal, but like grabbing onto like that, like what, like what would like, like going to church was like that, 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 that uh, thing that, or feeling that like I could anchor to. Mm. Like, and then after a while, it was just like, you know, I left the church just to like try to find, but then like art came in, then I anchored to that, which allowed me to like, like, just like, not just like, but like religion or like meditation. Like I, I kind of sat in that art world, creating to express and to like really um, read myself, to know myself. Um, and then now like this, like this, like, cycle of like like the the bigger picture of like like creation does any of your art reflect like where you're at in terms of life in terms of um i don't want to necessarily mm -hmm. but just your relationship with god and or any place that you're at now just as a yeah. person being well i have a show up now at foundry gallery um it, it opened like maybe a couple of weeks ago and like the, the statement of that uh, show is uh, like almost like everything that where I started since I was young up until like maybe a year up until this year is like uh, I'm an abstract artist mm. and I love abstraction like I love this like talking like not like riddles or anything like that but poetry like poetry like so for interpretation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I, like, that's how my art is. Like, that's why I like abstraction. But, like, the show is, um, it's, uh, it's showing, like, where I am, how I feel. Like, it, it, I think it's more so, if I could just keep talking about it, 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 it'll make more sense, but doesn't need to make sense. It's more of like a, like a reflective um, aspect to it, like a, like a, like a, I have something to say. And let me get this out so I can move on. Um, your art right now, uh, the pieces that you create, are you making it in pretty much like for yourself? First, or do you have the idea of what other people are going to think about it? Mm -hmm. It was this one saying that I heard me and my friend was talking about uh, several years ago, and it was this thing about like David um, leaving petals or something. I don't re actually remember it, but it's like it's like a Christian thing about like David leaving petals or flowers for God or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I always took that. To, for me, uh, and then a general sense where like I'm creating because God creates, or like in a simplest sense, I'm leaving these pieces because I have to, or like um, these are just like testimonies yeah. or. For me, it is more f so for, not necessarily for me. It's for me to create and leave out in the world. Mm -hmm. I guess that's, that's the best I can say 
for me to create and leave. Because <laughs> I can't take it with me. You definitely can't take it with you. You know? But other people can definitely like look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years after now. Um, yeah. So in terms of your art, or just your being, where do you want to see yourself five to ten years from now? Whether it be a successful artist, whether it be a well-known artist, or just a person that's just happy and okay with being. Five years uh, being really just being. Um, everything else falls in line where you, when you're in a place of uh, of uh, peace, like peace inside and out. Five years, three years, even tomorrow, like um, apart from like the worldly. Uh, uh, outside view of things like I, I, I want to be at peace walking and that's kind of like a ongoing life thing like life daily habit of trying to like uh, live but in, in, in the worldly sense uh, I do want my work to be uh, known around the world like I want people to see uh, my perspective, you know? I, I want people to have conversation with my work. I want to conversate with other artists um, in my, uh, you know, fields and like the other contemporary artists around me. Uh, I want to see how my work, uh, have conversations with other ideas and imaginations around places I can't even imagine right now but uh coming from church i'm like yo like wherever god spirit leads me it's kind of infinite so but right now let me just have peace <laughs> like uh it's, it's like the saying uh peace be still yeah you know that's my ultimate goal everything. It was Thank you. Wonderful talking to you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you.